العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما ورطى الفاتح لما صلق ناصر الحق للحق والهادي إلى صراطك المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم ورضي الله تعالى عن أصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم يا همة شيخ حضورنا بهذا المحضر والتأت في نظرة تأت لنا بالذكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله وبرزنت الله تبارك وتعالى once again who has given us an opportunity to gather in his house in order to uh, worship him and to remember him and to glorify him and to send salutation upon our master Sayyidina Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We ask him to extend the salutation upon his uh, family, upon his uh, companions and those that followed his companions and the followers of the followers of the companions and whoever follow him and follow them until the day of judgment. Um, Alhamdulillah, I will, uh, I will try to be short uh, today, uh, in fact not just only today but also going forward as uh, uh, some have mentioned that maybe sometimes the nasihas are a bit too long and uh, so we will just try and, and cut them down so that we can uh, benefit while our brains are still a bit fresh <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and then inshallah we, we are not in a hurry to complete what we are reading but also it is very important to understand every single line that we are reading because it's a uh, so we'll go however much however long it takes us to complete we will try to uh, to complete it the the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, is narrated from the sahabas that whenever he, he used to teach quran he never used to teach them more than uh, 10 verses at a time until they, they, what you call it, they learn those verses and they understand the meaning of those verses, of those verses, and they practice upon those verses. Only after that, then he will teach them the next ten verses, and like that, he will teach them the Quran. So, and that's why the Holy Quran was revealed over a period of twenty-three years, because. Uh, it takes time to absorb uh, the divine revelation. It needs to be properly explained so that when the Prophet ﷺ is gone, Allah has called him uh, to himself, then the message is also thoroughly understood and everybody knows and, uh, the meaning of the message. Inshallah, we try to uh, to, um, uh, to to do that, may Allah help us. Um, the last week we were talking about uh, our master Sayyidina uh, uh, Ahmad ibn Muhammad uh, at Tijani. Al Hassani, um, Today we want to talk about uh, one of the masters in this path and uh, one of the greatest uh, Khalifas in this path, and that is uh, Sheikh Ibrahim Inyas. Um, now that we understood and we went through uh, how the tariqa started 
in the, in the brief biography of our master, Sibna Shahamad al-Tijani, how it reached um, the four corners of the world, how it reached West Africa, East Africa, South Africa, <laughs> North Africa, the Asia, the Americas, everywhere. We do now we, we, we're getting more details uh, from one of the strongest uh, propagators of this tarifa. And it is the Al Khalifa Al A'adam, the greatest Khalifa um, of Sidna Sheikh Ahmad Al Tijan, and that is Sheikh Al Islam, Sheikh Ibrahim Yasser Al Tijan. Um, I will just highlight what I want to talk about. Uh, in, um, in Zulu, so that we can accommodate um, everyone else here in the gathering, is that Sfuna uh, Kuluma. Uh, uh, Mumunye wama wama awliya muraba fundi saba kulu gule nkolo yob islam e babisi zinyacheli ni o ezi tendo eni zika mfundi son kulu musidna sheikh amad atijani radilahu ta'ala anhu oba ya sezi tendo eni and the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Jenge i holy Quran, ora si funda i zisho, zigam profeto Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Buti si zikondisi si ngenge la ejuli le, singa vuri, ora si funde umpa lundi, ora upali we, singa ngenanga si juli, buti si kipe la na parati lo ogu 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 mbozi we, ogu mbozi we, ama like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but the Quran is the Quran the verse is the verse of the Quran and the verse is the verse the verse is the verse of the verse so we must find the Quran Mwele sisi ni yezizikati si chuhule. Goto indo ezo sumeti saguti. Si finyelele gule mwaze lo leyanga parati yeho li Qur'ani na yu mwele sibi nudosu wako wana suli tolfe, suli kipe. Mwele si chanze intizi yo zitu. Intizi yo zitu mwele si chanze ege. Mwele intizi yo zitanza mwuti. Umuntu mwele nga soso mkiskati ya. Ashali enza ama zikiru ora akumbu lau alla tabaraka wa ta'ala So, umuye wabafundi sabakulu Haba kakeshwa Nenge la efanele na nenge la epelele Wukshanza inti ziyo Wa umu sidna sheikh ahmar al-tijani radila wa ta'ala And so manji, sifunde mwumlando wake Gule vige njule So gule vige lele Na mkani sizofunda mwumlando umuye Waba fundi baake, aba aba ni atela ezi tendeni zaki usidna shakama ratijani radila wa taala anhu. Ongo 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 tina e usidna shakama ratijani radila wa taala anhu. Impilo ya ke yonge vila ni atela ezi tendeni zikam profeto Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So logo so balulegi le guti sans guti oba ni labo ese hamba na abu. And the Oba and the Labo, Abasi Hambisayo in Hela, Ezus Finele Nisa, who is present, Saga Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Who Allah Uti with Quran and Mwele, it tabir sabila mana anava ilia, Yelandela in Hela, ya lo, also begged Mina. 
and so Namaya Makama Guna Bantu Abakona Abakakashi or Mawaz or Moya Abasin Lenny, a big again, or Allah Tabaraka or Tahana. A who you born Abantu Abapete Abapete Loloazi Lolo Olumbo Zegile Olunga Olunga what to call Prophet Muhammad kinds of knowledge right the one so the one kind of knowledge he was instructed to distribute it to everybody the, 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 the second type of knowledge he said so the second type of knowledge, only certain elect servants of Allah will receive it. And then the third type of knowledge, what is logo, is between me and Allah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's between him and Allah. Right? The third kind of knowledge is between him and Allah. Right? He was not instructed to distribute it to anybody. Uh, the, the Holy Quran tells us when he was ascending into the skies, like is the month of Raja. When he was ascending into the skies, Uma Enyuwa Enyuswa Emazuluini, who Allah Emmemile, who is present here, okay. Why my figure, my what rule? Amazulu wonke is kumbisa. When Jula Nelly Slash and he says, "Please, I'm too high. See the Rasul Muntaha." He passed through the the tree of Lot, the Lot tree. La pelela koninda lo yaga Allah yonke. When explained if I pass beyond this point, I will be bent into ashes. Umangan Jula from Gulend Gulenda Olena Nekre, Mio Mio Gushan Gongo attending a bomb lot. When a Melu Tobe, Mabanguen on Nigaziwe, Igunian Informal to Manjula Gulend Gulenda. Urasula Salala Salam, he ascended further alone until was our figure with presence of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Who may say fear we present Sarah Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala? Who Allah has still hung up with him in Thai Kopil and Rasulullah? Who to we could an angel if our high Ila Abdi Hima Oha? Who to Allah way to the lower if he's a book to like going nowhere? Was we share La Pazanga sneers and matitis? Got a Mobuga, our prophet, Abaye, a Kuranin and Guele, who Allah wears still a booty. Sometimes at he let you pet a sand in sack. What is it that you are having in your in your hand? At you must know Elena in Dugule and Hambangayo. But to Allah, so Lendu Glena 
and then so some much and I know China man have been jelly or cool mazork is in daughter Allah okay when I was a tattered in Dugia who puns in the pants Musa lay salam or tattered in Dugia puns in the pants who may puns in the pants in Dugia pen to wear when you are in cool who Allah what you are Moses tattered in Dugia call the man we bumming a sand so, sometimes when it comes to Utu ala fauha ila abdi hima oha, u ala wa kuluma lenda ifisu ui kuluma ni mwigu yake, wa yege la ranja la zanga stele uti hile ntelezu vay kuluma. Uti abizwe ayi aze ayi lepe zule mazuduin, uti hile ntenga aga abizwe doyon. So, logo gusho uti, kona ezi nyizi nto rasuwa salam uti, u ala aganiganga imbu mewuti ngwele ngiz kuluma nge, is between mina no ala. So all you know is the 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 what you call the hamaganja. So lava, abafundi says kuluma ngabo. Jema shaki Ibrahim raja lau tala anhu. Abafundi sine zinge gozika alangu pele le mwenya ma ngomo ya ngomo ndo ngago ngago yonki into. Wo onka malevels kuzo zonki ziku zomundo abantu abakuteshwe ngago onke opele. These are the masters. So. That is why it's important that we must know them. Many sas go to Oban. You know, more name motto. More for look for a map at the motto, motto my pugil. Many understand the booty, the part, the loss of the tenor, equality upon a injure. Because more tata, the part to old father, I will call sure which is a glass cut in Ghana. So many will show, they will show the seas, they will check the seas. So he lent to this as a movie ends. Lava food is a cool lava culture. She will have more about to banjan. So, she has a bad culture. Ranjan in the Abantu, it should bow shovel lava to banjan. He would think I'll cut and general twenty minutes. As for the roots of your own, inshallah. So, who Shaki Prahim Radiala Ta'ala and who was born in Senegal. <laughs> On October 17, 1900. The year 1900, uh, the date corresponds to 15 Raja 1820 after the Hijri. So he was the son of Al Haj Abdullahi Niyase and the grandson of Muhammad Niyase. Uh, Muhammad, actually, the grandfather of Shaykh Ibrahim was Muhammad Al Amin. That was the full name. Right, Muhammad Al Amin, Niyasi Rajalaw Salaam, both of whom they were very well known members of the ulama of Senegal. So, growing up in an intellectual environment uh, strengthened his grasp of Islamic sciences. His father taught him Quran with its tafsir and hadith with their sharah explanations. He also taught him the fiqh and the science of tasawwuf from well-known books in use among the Majalis al-Ilmi in Senegal, the circles in which the students gather around the Sheikh in search of knowledge. So, the stanza lay, so this paragraph is told we found the Iskazela, Mugutu Sheikh Ibrahim Radela who was Allah Muyaga, Tiwa, 1900, right, 1900. 1900, Ngali Soskati, South Africa, being here. We was in South Africa here for you are no 1912. Right, But he, Mina now is his Oshera in South Africa. Right. So he South Africa. Right. So he came to South Africa. He was not in use at that time. He was not in use at that time. He was not in use at that time. You know, the first teacher of Imam Shafi'i was also known as Abdullah Azanji. Abdullah Azanji, the word Azanji 
is a word that is used uh, in the Islamic text, classical text, to refer to an African a black person. Hmm. And, and that's why they went as Zand, the, 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 what you call the, the, the African people were known as the people of the Zanj. Right? From where they went, Azania is coming from. Um, so Imam Shafi'i studied under him. The, he taught him Quran, Hadith, Fiqh, Tafsir. Long before he met any other alim in any other scholar, he grew up basically under his feet. But uh, this kind of information, sometimes you don't find it, but it's, it's there. Um, uh, in any case, um, so Shari Ibrahim who received a thorough education. So, Wafundiso wa Kakreshwa Gashi, Wafundiso Ama Visi, we put on in Wale, a Kainin Nazel, we put on Wafundiswa. These issues began prophet, he was taught the Quran and his tafsir, and he was taught also the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa as well as the explanations of a hadith by his own father. And he was taught fiqh, and he was taught the, the science of tasawuf, right? So tasawuf as a science, he was taught all of this. And all the other learnings that was taking place in the in the circle of learning uh, uh, in his hometown uh, he studied all of the books that are, are generally studied there so so we are born out to work at cash when you shake your brain right now tell on when shake your brain entered upon the sufi path he took the tariqa tijaniya from his father so his father was already following the tariqa tijaniya so he took the path from him so the step was momentous. Hey, I want to speak English words now as they come in. So this was a very big step and a very uh, a significant step. For it was within this tariqa that Sheikh Ibrahim was to play a major role, right? So it was in fact a, a role without parallel since Sheikh Omar Tal al Futi Rajalautal Anhu's earlier role in the spread of the Tijaniya. So, when this is another giant of the Tariqa, Sheikh Omar Futita, right, also from the uh, Senegambia Sene region, Senegal and Gambia region, he was one of the masters also in this path because we know that he also took the Tariqa from Medina um, when he met the disciple of Sidna Sheikh Ahmad al Tijani, Sidi Muhammad al Ghali. So he was also very instrumental in the spread of the tariqa. Um, so Shah Ibrahim who was thus blessed with a special charisma for his mission. Uh, it should not surprise us therefore that his advent was foretold not only by Sheikh Ahmad Tijani but also by Uthman Tanfodio. So Shah Ibrahim who's coming was foretold by Shah Ahmad Tijani himself, right? And, and also there were other giants of this Ummah, Sheikh Uthman Tanfolio of the Adariya Tariqa, also foretold about his coming, right? Uh, although <coughs> um, I have read in some of the works in, because sometimes you know you, you get uh, uh, inter tariqa politics. <laughs> um, some 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 followers or students of uh, uh, Uthman Tanfolio, they um, they dispute some of the facts around um, that are usually promoted uh, by some with regards to uh, his relationship with the tariqa. It is known he did not take the tariqa. But Sheikh um, Umar Futital, when he came from the Hijaz, he settled in the, in the, in the kingdom of Sokoto, which was a, a community that was established by uh, Sheikh Uthman Tanfodi. Um, so he had a lot of relationship with the ulama there and the scholars in, in the science of Tasawuf as well. Um, so Sheikh Ahmad al Tijani who predicted that a feather or flood 
will overwhelm my companions to the point that people will enter our path, our tariqah, in multitudes. So now remember last week we spoke about the, the, the flood or the favor that we will, we will just touch on the, 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 the favor or the flood itself. Flood or the favor refers to that uh, phenomenon uh, the, where a lot of people will experience um, the knowledge of Allah or the ma'arifa of Allah right through the hands of Sheikh Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala anhu and it will come at a time when the world will be experiencing difficulties right the world will be experiencing difficulties and indeed Sheikh Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala anhu uh, when he announced as the the, 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 the bringer of the Fader, it was around 1929. And that was the, there was a great depression in the world during that period. Um, so, the, so this phenomenon is referred to as the, as, as the, as the, as, as the flood because of the, uh, because of the uh, large number of people uh, experiencing the ma'arif of Allah through the hands of Sidna Sheikh Ahmad Tijani anhu through his teachings of the Tariqah Tijaniya. Right? Because remember we said the Tariqah is a method through which a person can achieve ma'arifa uh, by following all the three stages of Islam. It's the stage of Islam, the stage of Iman and the stage of Ihsan. Right? And, and that is the purpose of the tariqah. And but before that can happen, a person go through the purification of the heart, so that this heart can receive the, the, the what you call the uh, this ma'arifa. And so Shaykh Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala anhu was then uh, uh, foretold that he would come. Shaykh Ibrahim who began his mission in 1929, the year we recall of the beginning of Great Depression. Prior to the time of Sheikh Ibrahim, there were many claimants to the description of the Fada, yet in none of them is the characteristic so well reflected as in him. Moreover, this view has been corroborated by acknowledgement of many Tijani leaders that Sheikh Ibrahim who indeed owned the Fada and Sheikh Ibrahim enjoyed such a wide acceptance as a leader among the Tijani that the Mauritanian uh, Arabs, who had first brought the Tariqa Tijaniya to Senegal, came back in order to renew their Salasil, which is the plural of Simsila, with him. So now this is referring to the, uh, uh, the phenomenon of Sheikh Ibrahim. So when Sheikh Ibrahim anhu, um, became well known as the teacher in this path, as a great teacher in this path, a lot of the people so uh, they they came to him. Even those people who came from the, those families who actually brought the tariqa in West Africa in Mauritania, they came to him to renew their tariqa with him because of realization that now here we're dealing with somebody who is the one of the greatest representatives of Sidna Sheikh Ahmad Tijana. Uh, what you call it, in, in this path, right? Uh, it's like a among in a store. We compare with what you is for the spandai. More one, more figure up of one. Okay, I couldn't put it to see Yana, but let us then I. Yayona, Imnan de Marai. I bind the Alleghen, the Funanga, Mobagashi Salana Pan. Won't you go one any? So it's the same thing, right? Who realize that you know this person is a giant of an alim, a giant of a, a, a person with ma'arifa, somebody who then you know what I want to laugh at Manji. 
ngihambe nyo renewal apha ngiyophuza kulo yamthombo lo yango lo yamthombo lo ya uquke the okunengi kuna la ngikhona manje yakusiqala lokho right is is not a they say a person will go to where there's greener pastures you understand so aksikala lo that is part of the natural way in any case uh, the authors have uh, uh, put this in order to to indicate the the, the appearance of Sidna Sheikh Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala anhu so they followed him in his movement of reform towards the prophetic sunnah and in uniting the the, the Tijaniya, although he, his father had joined the Tariqa in 1875 it came to pass that the sheikh uh, meaning his son now we talk about sheikh ibrahim became the highest ranking in the Tijaniya. even though he, he, he was born in 1900 his father took the Tariqa in 1875 but when Sheikh Ibrahim appeared as the bringer of the Father, it became clear that there was no match to his to, do, to his level of rank when it comes to the Khulafa in the Tariqa Tijani. All right. So now this is a, a, a very a great a, what you call a point to to, to to take note. So one can truly say that Sheikh Ibrahim Rajalautala Anhu was the Uthman Tanfodi of his time. Now to understand this statement that he was the Uthman Tanfodi of his time, Radhiallahu ta'ala anhu, you need to understand who was Sheikh Uthman Tanfodi and what did he do in his time. Right? And that will give you an indication on what the writer is trying to communicate here. Understand? Briefly, Sheikh Uthman Tanfodi was one of those African giant scholars who revived the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One of his books that he wrote uh, is called Ihya uh, Usunna wa Ikhmad Bida. The revival of the Sunnah and the destruction of Bida, of innovation. Right. That book has 83, has about 66 uh, chapters. Right. 83. So, what he did in his time, he looked at uh, 33 phenomenons or things that people were no longer practicing and have, in, have introduced bid'ah or innovation in deen. And then he, 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 he the, 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 those were the 33 chapters and those 33 chapters, he provided 33, chapter, 33 chapters that correct all these bid'ahs that we introduced, all the innovations that we introduced. And, and, and the reason why he had 66 chapters is because of the secret of the name of Allah. Because the divine name Allah, when you put it in the scale of abjad, is alif is one, lam is thirty, lam is thirty, and then ha is five. So one plus thirty plus thirty plus five will give you sixty-six. Began to him when it comes to the science of proof. So and so a lot of the secrets, some of the ulama used to pass it on like that. That's just one of the books that he wrote, right? But there's several books that he wrote. Some of his students recall, he says that we, we don't remember reading less than 20,000 books. Mm. Right? Those were the students that he was developing and preparing them to revive the Sunnah of the Prophet. Because the work was so much important for him that he raised his own student. And some of these 20,000 books are not just one volume book. Some of them are like two volumes, three volumes, five volumes, ten volumes. That is counted as one book. Mm -hmm. you know so that is uh, Sheikh Abdullahi, uh, Muhammad Abdullahi, he records this in uh, where he talks about the life of Sima Uthman Tanfodio, what he did. He was also known as a, a, a revival, as the majority of his time. And so, Shah Ibrahim who was also viewed by his followers as such as the Mujaddid. Um, Shah Uthman Tanfodio uh, is a noteworthy personality because he, he is responsible for spreading Islam in the northern part of Nigeria. 
many people that became Muslims because of his efforts. So, Gubalulegi le ukfunda mizi ngai kuziga Allah kuzokona kuti sis tumani sene naabo sis tumani sene mimo ya ya abo right imimo ya ya abo Allah tabaraka wa taala si wala taqulu limi yuqtalu fi sabili lahi amwata bal ahya un inda rabbihim yurzakun don't say those people that have passed on and have died in the way of Allah is dead they are not dead but they are alive they are receiving sustenance from their Lord you understand so so imi moya ya abo siya ibona ya pila imsebenzi ya abo ibaye zile imfundiso ya abo ibaye zile ibaye zile sele what you call gubalande li babo ewe se gu ibona ba sin zile sele imfundiso ya abo uguze nati na mchanji si guazu uchisali sifunde ya korani sifunde ma hadithi sifunde mo Allah is because of imsebenzi ya abo ibaye zile so kubali le yile uti sazi ama kambi espuza bu uti la makambi enzu wega njani akamga api na makambi ene atuwele kanga ganani ikambi ni kambi chua ini sizu ni kambi ikambi ufuza imbiza abanya wafundi sisangapo sangabati imbiza abanya sita makambi right so that is giving us an explanation what you call an understanding uti mele stade sisi kumanisa na bantu baka alama so some discount na bafundi sila wakule skulu mangabu singa bafani sa njenga njenga ma satellite i satellite mo isusa njenga lana ibi nomu wa shalunga isusa mbele nje kubi ilo chedi for 3 hours awasa wazu kufone la uzbani bani go yinda because manji i network i safi because the satellite i sali release so la bafundi sa wakule skulu mangabu ibo na bani release umlaezo nemi palo enguele nengazelo ezi nazelo ezi nguele zo uti mpado mele si ikoni si seranjana umundu angenzi into e kabuga e kandala kikoto enzi into e ya mbulela um profetu muhammad salalawa liya salam eza ngazo ngabobonke laba fundi laba eskuluma ngabo iminyang iminyaga ama generation ama generation isi zuguluana nezi zuguluana so kubali le yele uti mele nga soso mki skati skali sizi fundi sana abo utu bebo labo bebo baani ene babakuli se ranja so shekhu kumantan fodio shekhu ibrahim raja lao tala anhu ya wana laba fundi slabe mkuluma nga abo babalu le yele iga kulu gazi tina sizi mkule sizi sabanta bantu nga kulu na aski nga kuluma nga nento le Yuko ti, abantu na bietu, umaba kuhu, especially la abantu mazala. Angewe kuzungumzia kwenye nompopi, bila biza bana nompopi, unompopi, omsho kwenye baala, una mesho alshaz, kutoa utana kuhu, unzu unzu, watu unzu, watu kolo mbala, watu kolo shanga, ulumiam. So in, so in other words, uzamuwe zana, uzamagu ti, u u u. Abantu wana be tu mele siba fundi se uguti baza zi kutu bwana bangu ubani banga zi zondi bwana Mwabama umtata umtengi luna umpopi Kone nwelezi mshope zifana na belumu Ume kula lo mtu wana na yuzo funu kufana na belumu I'm not saying uguta belumu abanta babi Koto wangishu kuta abantu mele bazi tande ngele la uala abatale nga ayo Ende singe nzi izi nto ezo kwenza uguti abantu wana be tu bazi zonde Mwuguti siba chengele abono umpopi abafana na banya bantu na abayinza maya masigo ama ya shuga shugi hivyo banga fani na bantu banga fani nati so nale nito lesi enza ayo senza the same thing uuti sisi fundi senza u ala ama awliya aba fundi nezi ngegu asnige ze zona e afrika yoke chigelele uuti e oba anila oba nabu mele sifunde nga ati sibono uuti kandia au koko be chubona bai Bai pila ganja ni lempi le le lenkoro le sibiona. Mwaba ezi nzi nto zote mau zenza uyabona kuti haiman lana ngati angon lento kienza ngenga yoku ti ula dela inga zelo yabantu bago zinye izizu. Mshamitu leo ngazelele yo 
ayishayisani na masiko mpilo wakho as when umuntu onsuni and it is not necessary ukuthi leyo incazelo leyo i wrong but it's just ukuthi ayisebenzeli wena ngoba wena kweyindawo uphila kweyindawo angeke uthathe constitution yase Zimbabwe uyithatha uzo yishoma e South Africa intetho yakhona ishukile so that is a into esizama ukuyichaza la ene ngizama ukuchaza ukubaluleka ukufunda eh ngale zinqiku zika Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ukuthi bikho abantu abanjani eh engicaba ukuthi sikhathi sami sesimshayini as a spiritual guide um, so Sheikh Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a staunch advocate uh, was a staunch advocate of restoring the proper ritual observances of the Prophet's pure Sunnah. Some people had become careless and had become and had begun to omit some of the recommended practices of the Prophet. So Ushan Ibrahim, one of the mission that he did was to revive and purify the the the, the, the people's lives through directing them back to the way of the Prophet. Right? Because some people had begun to do things that were against the prophetic way of life. And then, as a spiritual guide in Tasawwuf, Sheikh Ibrahim Ta'ala Anhu wrote many books explaining Sufism and the possibility of spiritual perfection in the modern age. Some people believe that maybe in the modern age it's not possible to reach the highest station of spiritual perfection. That is not true. It is very possible in the modern age to reach the highest station of, 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 of spirituality. Because Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala has created me and you to do exactly that. That is the purpose of life. The meaning of reaching the highest spiritual state of perfection, it means that you, you will strive to your utmost level to reach the presence of Allah and the ma'rifah of Allah and connect yourself with Allah. That is the purpose of creation, is to connect yourself with Allah. And this purpose will forever become necessary in every era, whether it's modern age or post-modern age or pre-modern age. In every era, every human being, they are required to connect themselves with Allah. So that is... Uh, so Shaykh Ibrahim Radalawa Tala Anhu in the modern age, you see, because especially in the modern age. prophets. So. The Islam is from this Saudi bonga ba into zonke ngela zaba prophet o Mose o Abraham o David na bo Jesus zonke nendlela lezikwele sizi practice zonke because indlela eziqondile u Allah abafundisa zona ukuthi bafundise izinxeko zakhe emhlabeni um <coughs> So Shaykh Ibrahim Radalaw Ta'ala Anhu, one of his many books, and that is widely read, is the Kashful Ilbas that he wrote in this regard. The removal of confusion. Um, it was written in Arabic and explains the real meaning of Sufism. It is, uh, in it, Sheikh states that the Sawuf possesses a definition, subject, matter, name, compilers, sources, laws, problems, attributes, and results. Hey, I think it has a lento there. Go to again to the record. Lazy into lazy, it's to go to the What we just counted now, these are the, 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 the Mabadi, 10, Ashara Mabadi, mm -hmm. the 10 different principles that any students must look into before they comment to study any subject. Right, so in other words, uh, you must first investigate uh, the definition. What is the definition of the subject that you want to study? What is the subject itself, right? And what is the topic that is being studied? 
What is the name of this subject? Where does it get its name? Its name? Who, who is the first compiler of this science? Right. And what are the sources of this science? How does this science uh, get its sources? What are the laws that govern this science? Right. What are the problems that this science is trying to solve? What are the attributes and characteristics of this? Uh, what are those things that I will know that I, I will be able to identify this science? And what are the results that I should get by studying this science? And what are the fruits, you know? So in other words, Unezinto ezi ezi ishu megmele uzbege before ungena we subject a tease of una we study sha we funde we yazi so when was uti kamala yo yin umbanu musomole wa yo and then amasosis shuti la imfundi soya kona ikamga gupi ikamala yo lento yin and then i topic is is strong and lento le ekuluma ngaso yi yi si pi yi ni strong kahle kahle ngamaya magama and then nemithetho e e e e e what you call imigomo ekumele ilandelwe uma wenza ufunda le 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 what you call leso sihloko leso nezinkinga leyo lolo lwazi lolo elizama ukuthi lizoxazulule right kanye nama nama attributes ukuthi izimpawu ezi ezizokutshela ukuthi lento lena ophezwayo iyona yona na so according to impawu kanye nemiphumela yakhona ke ichamukayo ngokuthi ube nolwazi lalo lo subject leyo it doesn't matter ukuthi yini whether i fiqh whether i tafsir whether i hadith the ulama osolwazi beba 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 fu beba cheka Babu si se gache lezi nto lezi ezu ten. So ushefi prime was tata zonke lezi nto zu ten. Uma etkaza ita sa ufisu fizi nguti yinu le mwati le ikashkula albasa. Ogu nguti kuya kombi sa uguti le mwati lena. O lo mkaka lo na wata sa ufu. Ogu mkaka o o what you call it. O o o o what you call it o chuti na o o o o o nga parati we go go minye imikhakha esekhona endleleni islam like the jama ya sciences la or islam um so shaykh ibrahim radiyallahu ta'ala anhu uh he taught so wafundisa ukuthi eh tasawuf is about uh, to adopt every worthy form of behavior and to eschew unworthy form of action. So what has Aguti Itasawuf Uktata is 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 milo S C B Usi Su se M Twini Usbese Uta Utache is milo S C Umboze Umuntu Umuntu Maso. That is what it has a wolf it has a lot of it has a wolf issue team. Uktata isimilo esibi so muntu uskipe is to take a bad character of a person, remove it, and replace it with a good character. That is the meaning of tasawuf. So, mama yama kama, uya kubera uti, tasawuf is not to wear a woolen coat. Aksu uktoga impura mpura. Right. Tasawuf is not about uktoga impura mpura, or uktoga impasha, is it a gile to a moment to dona a gana you do me for an example because of the impact it a gile the south is not about wailing and crying which is a like when is it when is it to like is a what you call is a kali say um a baby um a baby cool baby cool yeah who's is on a power to tell one i got him and you're saying for all seeing i'm saying some way in you understand that all of these things, social primacy, that is not tasawuf. Tasawuf is about purifying the heart. It's about cleansing yourself. It's about instilling good behavior. You replace it with bad behavior. Ma ukuluma labantu, ukuluma labantu ganjano. Ma ukuluma labantu glapa, or ukuluma labantu gashi. Ukuluma labantu ngokshonipa, or ukuluma labantu ngokdelena. Uma ngabi utukthele ukuthukuthala kwakho ukukontrola kanjani that is itasa itona itasa uf lento le no itasa uf ikufundisa ukuthi kumele uziphathe kanjani ifundisa ama adapt the manners 
It is to teach you the adab and the manners. That is what Tasawuf is about. And Tasawuf, in short, Uglandela, Impalo, Engwele, Engwati, Engwele, Ogui Korani, Nezisho, Zaham Prophet Muhammad, Salalah, and Salam. Mogazong, and Nezim Tolezi, Izona, Ikorani, Espundi, Sai, which he made a Sipil Saneganja and Singabantu, Uganama put manners. Right. So that is what Tasawuf is about. Uh, Shari Ibrahim Radalawatala'anu encouraged those following him. Then to the Naibalulegi. As we learn in the Bible, the Vizetu Zanga Pandi, the Zanga Pagat. As we learn, let's open our ears. The, those inside and those outside. Right. Shari Ibrahim Radalawatala'anu who says he encouraged those following him to learn the Arabic language and to learn their religion very well in order to stand as a bulk work against false doctrines. Ushan Ibrahim Uti, ye fundani, uli mulama Arab. Ye fundani, ni nkolo yenu. Nene ni fundi nkolo yenu ni azi si ise. Ugo ze, uti ni azi toli ni se, ni se esi meni la, uz tole so lande la into enga si yona nkolo ya, ikme nkolo melu lande. Because Uluazi, Lubukanya, knowledge is light. It guides you in a place of uh, when, when you are in darkness. So Shari Ibrahim used to emphasize for why Atimedes Funde Uli Mulama Arab? Because in what Le Esi Funda, Ibu Kuran Engwele, U Alamara Isisa, Waisisa, Umu Umuntu, Oayum Arab, Umu Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it was a sad, easy nazel of Zaki, Uma et Kazela, Abant, Malis Kati, Ebet Kazela. Melanat is funded, Ulimulaki, Uzo was a woody, stall a woody, he needed to the Ingi, Losi, be in Penicella, Woe, in Kazela, is into Natis or was with Lesos into Sisland. So in Akushani, Primer, the Lotal and Woody, Ubalulegi, Wong Kumun, Umun to Mumun to Woody, are funded, Ilimulis Arab. And I found in Colorado, I found this is a And then, so Ushari Prime Footy, while a yala aban to go to Bafund, the Uli Mulama Arab, Uti, in Mondoyaki Footy, Venga Valegi, the Uti, Angazi, Amay, Amir, is the Lim, is Kulunya by a band. What you made Ufund, the Wonka Mali, Mobo, Wonka Bantu. Ushari Prime used to say, if I had known more languages, I would have reached more people. That's me to tell you the truth. The problem is Kalini, especially with my languages. My languages are not our food. Like the Africans. Africans are not my food. They are not my food. The language is not my food. The language is not food. But I didn't understand the Uti Guna Banya Bantu, Abanga Zanga Baskugum, the Marabakulumi Africans. Especially when I went to a Cape Town, I used to go to some masjid. Hey, the whole, the full Bayan is in, is in Africans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my little Lafangazo, okay, I'm a man come up and call you at all. With Ayaman, I couldn't have Allah, Allah is one, the prophet is a messenger. I'm very easy to be in Lasha, yo. After that, especially. It's cutting say a university. I used to go to sleep at on Marcus from Asar until Fajr. Then we will we will be breakout sessions. And mind you, I want to Musa Makasi while I buy a Cape Town. Like African Zealand, we are more of the In the sincerity is there, but me man, I'm not So that thing. Since that time, I changed my mind. I said, ah, you know what? I have to, I have to learn all, uh, all languages. I have to learn all languages. Because mind, if I want to learn something and uh, what you want to learn, someone, what you want to learn from, that person speaks a different language. How are you going to receive what you are? So language is a medium through which human beings communicate. Because Allah created all of us. So Allah was the only song king. He's in, he's in trouble, he's in trouble, he's in Right. Another language being the problem, I'm really old. 
the Urdu, Nyanas are moving food, especially the forms of Kali Hibs. I've been in Kutiris, Kali. Right. Being a shy about the Ranam Kiahi. Hey, 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 but man, sometimes then you, you meet someone, very pious servant of Allah. Now you, you need to benefit from the person. Now you can't communicate. You understand? So that thing he taught me not to look down upon other languages. Right? In Islam, we don't have this thing of, uh, what is this thing of uh, a common uh, punishment? If, if one person does something, you punish the whole tribe. No, the, the Islam is not like that. You understand? So we must try to learn all, uh, all, 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 all languages. So Shaykh Ibrahim used to say, if I had known more languages, I would have reached more people. If you see someone who is a Chinese, and you need to tell them about the Kalima, how are you going to tell them on Ukulu Misizu? How are you going to tell them who was the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? How are you going to tell them who, eh, about Itareka, for an example? So we must try to learn as many languages as possible. To, the intention is to connect with other human beings and to pass the message of Islam. That means the Umas Nganai is one thing. U, 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 even the intention, but who have been able to get into them? It's another one. Most people would say, "I mean, I can get it." That means I was missing a u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u u at the end of the day, you will find what you, what you speak in your own language is the same as what other people speak in the, in the other languages. Hey, I, I remember, I don't know if my wife is here. Maybe she's not here. Okay, I'm safe to say something. <laughs> and when she came, you know, sometimes understanding South Africans, you know, speaking. You know, I'm a South African, sometimes they can be they can have a very way, what you call, they can have some way of uh, expressing themselves. And when you look at them talking, you think, I, some big calamities before them. You know, <laughs> people who are like, Bakuluma, 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 Bas Bambi Kanda, Montas Bambi Kanda, Logna, Logna, Log. Then she would ask me, What are they talking about? Says, no. Mata 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 kukugi. I say, oh, how about that? <laughs> the price of tomatoes went high. So now the way they speak is as if someone died. <laughs> but that is how they express themselves. Oh, it takes mama mama atiwa we kupunge turandi. Oh, you will see. So these are the kind of things. But in anyway, what I'm trying to say, Uti. Sometimes you will hear people speaking in a, in a language you don't understand. You will think, hey, they, they're talking some heavy, hectic things, but only to find that they talk about the same thing you talk about in your own language when you talk about the people that you will know who understand your language. So we should never undermine each other's languages. We are all the servants of Allah, and we all have a, a responsibility to live with each other in peace and in harmony. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is a messenger of Allah for all nations. He's not only for Arabs. He's also not only for Zulus. He's not only for Indians. He's not only for white people, but it's for all nations. So a Muslim must be an international person. Um, so Shaykh Ibrahim anhu played a major role in the Muslim world. He was a member of many organizations. The Muslim World League the Rabbitatul Alam al Islam, the Rabbitul Al Alam al Islam, the Mu'tamarul Alam al Islam in Karachi, the Majma'ul Buhuthi al Islamiyah, and Majlisul Al Shu'uni al Islamiyah, both of which were organizations based in Egypt. In all of these organizations, he was highly regarded, especially for his writings on the religion and he wrote some 49 books, all in Arabic, 
and many other articles, short articles and poems. Poems of Sheikh Ibrahim don't even ask because they like in their hundreds that he wrote. And all of them, the is about Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, about praising Allah, praising Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so, now when you understand these things about Sheikh Ibrahim, then you understand who he was. Then you understand what he, uh, if we want to be like him, we also need to do the same things that he did. He went to the madrasa, he went to the school, he studied Islam, he studied fiqh, tafsir, hadith, he worked for Islam, he took part in community activities, he was a member of many organizations that were making change in the world. Nati, we must do the same thing. Otherwise, it will be a claim to say that we are followers of Sheikh Ibrahim, but we are not doing that. So, Sheikh Ibrahim used to say, whoever wants to be with us, then he must do what we do in, in his state as well as in his action. Right? He said this in the second letter. Um, so, Yet it was not only the religious organizations which Sheikh Ibrahim anhu held him in esteem, but many governments also honored him. Among his many awards that he received, he received the medallion of the throne from Morocco, the medallion of the Republic of Tunisia, the medallion of Nigeria, the Legion of Honor in France, the Medal of the Merit of the Society of the Ancient Warriors in France, he received several medals from governments of Senegal, among the highest of which was the Grand Croix, uh, which is a form of a medal. He also received an honorary doctorate from Libya. Mm. So, international communities and countries recognized Sheikh Ibrahim by rewarding him, by giving him the various Nobel Prizes in order to, to show their appreciation of the work that he used to do as a humanitarian person. If you want to, if you claim to follow Sheikh Ibrahim, then you must try to do the good works that he used to do. If you are unable to do it, because not everybody can be a scholar, not everybody can be like uh, Sheikh Ibrahim, for an example, then you must support those organizations and individuals uh, with your, uh, uh, what, what you call, with whatever Allah blessed you with, with your time, with your energy, with your monies, with yourselves, with everything, you give it to those organizations and those individuals that are actually doing those works. And then you will find that you will also be accounted, uh, you will be counted among those people who contributed in the cause of Islam, in the same way how this ulama contributed. Right. Um, so Shah Ibrahim who passed away on the 26th of July, 1975, on the 15th of Rajab. <laughs> He was born on the 15th of Rajab and he passed away on the 15th of Rajab. Right. In the year 1395 Hijri, so leaving behind him the massive and splendid uh, masjid in Kaulak, which is in constant state of renovation, and a number of Islamic institutes. He established the Institute of the Arabic Language, the Institute of Quran, the Institute of Tafsir, Fiqh, and the Islamic jurisprudence are all taught to thousands of students. Thus, the true, uh, uh, true to the principle laid down by the founder who insisted that ilm, knowledge, is essential in every disciple and a must for every Muslim. Today, the muqaddams of Sheikh Ibrahim, the Amini, among some of the most prominent ones is his grandson, Imam Sheikh Hassan Sisi, anhu, of Senegal. And he is the next topic to talk about his biography. Inshallah, we we'll stop here. We, I know I said I, I was going to be short, but uh, I got carried away a bit. I apologize again for talking too long here today. But uh, Inshallah, we will stop here. Uh, any, before I close, anyone who has any questions, maybe? Questions for the whole week. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hashem. Sheikh um, Raz Kubras, he wants to mention the issue of Fudisov Babaki, only his father. Sheikh Ibrahim? No. Yeah, yes, uh, that's true. Sheikh Ibrahim was only taught by his father. He, he never attended any uh, institution. His institution was his father. His father was a, Rick was a big alim, and his grandfather, mm. by the way, his name was Muhammad al Amin. <laughs> <laughs> he was also a giant of an alim, and um, so he uh, he taught him all the sciences of Deen, and, um, and 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 passed down to him all the various ijazas and uh, certifications to be able to pass the sacred knowledge to the to the next generation. So that that is a a, 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 a what you call one of the miracles about uh, Sheikh Ibrahim, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. <laughs> No, according to the uh, he, according to the historians and the ulama in the tariqa he prophesied about the coming of the fader the fader is connected with the tariqa and the fader because the purpose of the tariqa is to purify the hearts of the people so that they can receive the ma'arif. Right? And then he said, the, the bringer of the fader will appear at a time when the world is experiencing difficulties. And these predictions, they happened according to how he predicted based on many ulama in the Tarika. Mm Yeah, no, no, no. I said maybe, maybe not, not, not seven, but Allah's seventh. Oh, seven. Yes, oh. Allah's seventh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, no, it's, no, it's good. You see, you see why we have question and answer to be able to clarify sometimes some of the things. We said. <laughs> no, maybe the only seven all year. The only no, the only. Yeah. No, 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 no. The, um, uh, the Prophet said there are three, three kinds of knowledge he was given. The one is between him and Allah. The other is he is instructed to distribute it among Allah's certain servants. Right, so, or special servants, if I may put it that way. And then the other, he distributed to everybody. You understand? That's why you, when you, you read the hadith, uh, Sayyiduna Abu Huraira anhu, under the Kitab al Ilm in the Sahih al Muslim, he says, I received two kinds of knowledge from Rasulullah. One knowledge, if I tell you, you praise me for it. The other knowledge, if I tell you, you will, you will cut my neck. Mm. You understand? So, 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 some knowledge is the Prophet distributed to others, while the other knowledge is, is instructed to distribute to everybody. You understand? Mm -hmm. Sheikh, mm -hmm. that means that knowledge is the one that you refer to Ma'arifa. Ma you say, does that knowledge refer to the Ma'arifa? Ma 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 according to many ulama, they say that is, uh, it, it, it refers to that. Because not everybody can have Ma'arifa. It's not to say that it is not possible for anybody to have Ma'arifa. It's just by the nature of life itself. 
Some people they just only want to practice the the, the, the faraid of Islam. You know, you make your five daily salah, you fast in Ramadan, you make Hajj, you give zakat, you give charity, and then you be good to people, neighbors, and everything. For them, Islam ends there. But yet, there's others that go. They practice all of these things, but they also go beyond that. And it is those people that uh, they, they are given this special knowledge. Understand? Articles which are the papers like Risalas and then the uh, responses to fatwas and, and those things. Yeah. And then um, then he also wrote uh, poems. Yeah. And the poems he wrote, they are, they are in uh, multiple volumes, yeah. they, they are over 200 poems, different poems, are all in praise of Rasul. Yeah. 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 Wikipedia. Shaq Bai said, don't take knowledge from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, Wikipedia is not really a good source to take knowledge from. But uh, because anybody writes there, anything, the proper way of taking knowledge is actually to take it from under the feet of the scholar. Once you are trained and the scholar uh, give you permission to be on your own, uh, then even wherever you go, you will be able to tell whether what you're reading is true or is not true. It's like a, a mother and a father, they, they, when the child is born, they, 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 they do an upbringing of the child, they teach the child different manners, how to eat, how to live. Once the child is old enough, then the child can is free to do what they want to do. All right. Finish. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح ما وضع الفاتح صلى الله عليه وسلم الحق الهادي وصلاة المستقيم وعلى آله حق تعلم المطلع العظيم صلاة تفتح لنا بها وعلى تسليم التوبة وشر التأسير وتكون لنا بها ولينا نسيرا أنت ولينا ولنا خدم ولنا نعم نسير سبحان ربك رب العزة ونصفون وسلام على المسلمين الحمد لله